Emily May here with Sports Kita with Mikey, and we are getting ready for one fight night 10 with one championship. How are you feeling ahead of this weekend? Oh, I'm so excited. You know, I made weight this morning, and uh, now I'm just ready to fight. And this was a, a very, uh, very intense moment um, we saw earlier. Um, you helped uh, helped make weight uh, for some other uh, fighters and competitors. How did that feel, um, kind of seeing that moment happen? Uh, it was a special moment, you know, like um, we're all like one family in one championship. So um, I really, me and Rod Ting really like clicked together and like for five hours we cut weight together and he made weight. I was so happy. <laughs> So how does that camaraderie and that teamwork feel at one championship? How, how does that feel to be a part of that family? Oh, it's incredible. You know, like um, it's what martial arts stands for. And like, that's why I love one championship. Everyone's helping each other. Everyone's like one big family. Other organizations are kind of toxic. Everyone's trying to get ahead of each other. So having a place where you feel like so comfortable and like the people are so warm and nice, like I just love it. Talk about the fan reception after joining one championship, and you are a fan favorite. Thank you. And everyone loves you. You have such energy, and you just connect with the people. Uh, how does that feel as you're kind of beginning this journey? You know, like when I started jiu-jitsu, I tried to act different ways because I didn't really know how to act. And then I just started being my authentic self. And um, I feel like once I learned to just be myself, like I really excelled. So um I really love connecting with people and all across the world I've been connecting with people, you know, so it's just amazing this whole experience. I'm blessed. And we have to get into what today is. It is May 4th. So talk a little bit about how much Star Wars means to you and how it inspired who you are today. Uh, well, my nickname Darth Rigatoni was chosen from a fan. So um, I guess I, I guess I am like Darth Vader. <laughs> When I'm in the circle, uh -oh. but out of the circle, I'm okay. <laughs> Are we going to see, uh, you know, the force be with you? Possibly, you know, um, once I get in that circle, I become a whole different person, you know, so that, that's what's interesting about me. Like, I'm smiley, I'm like this geek nerd, but when I, when I get in the circle, I change. I become Darth Vader, so <laughs> Darth Riga Tony. <laughs> And we have to talk about your food prep. We all know that pizza is your favorite, yes. but... If there was a pizza ban or a pasta ban, what would you do? Which one would affect me more or? Yeah, I mean, what would you do if your favorite food was, you could no longer have it? It'd be a hard life for me. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to live anymore. <laughs> okay, well, let's not, let's not think about that. But I have to know, what is the perfect ingredients for the best pizza? High quality everything, you know, like cheese from Italy. Regular cheese, regular mozzarella, buffalo mozzarella, pecorino, parmesan, uh, high-level flour and dough, and good basil. I think that's what makes the best pizza. That sounds amazing. We, we definitely have to get some pizza. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we all are, right? Yes. <laughs> so one more question. Um, if you could have your own cooking show okay. and make your favorite pizza, who would be your first guest? Dave Portnoy. <laughs> that Dave Portnoy for sure because he's going to be the meanest guest and then I'll choke him if he gives me a mean review on my pizza <laughs> well with that recipe that you gave us I'm sure it will be delicious thank you so much for your time thank and you good so luck much. thank you I'm Emily May with Sports Kita.